It's Sunday. Why are you yelling? Do you feel like a fraud when you say that because it's not Sunday? No, it is Sunday. Prove prove me otherwise. It's Thursday. I have it on my phone if I showed the... You'd be a terrible lawyer. How? I have proof that it's Thursday. Show it. Don't. We don't have time for that. You see? Look at you. You're a fraud. How? Because you you let me say it every time. I asked you, do you feel like one? No, I don't. You gotta, play, you gotta play the fucking game, pal. Big dirty sock day. Why? Those don't look dirty. Are mine? No, see, mine are nice and fresh. Right off the fucking press. Yours don't look dirty. They're like brown on top because of my shoe. How the fuck do they get brown? Like the sh- the shoe's getting really like um old, so. You should probably get some new. You buy fucking 17 pairs of Vans, you can't buy new work shoes? No. <laughs> you spend all day at work. <laughs> yeah. But like they're comfortable. Wear white vans once, uh, probably once bi weekly. Yeah, <laughs> out on the weekends you can't buy fucking new work shoes. I literally haven't bought new work shoes since la- November 2019. Why do you know that? Because I went to Hudson Yards in December 2019. And I bought those shoes in November 2019. That's fair. But yeah. I only they they stay at work. You know it's 2021. Yeah, but they stay at work. Like I never. Get a new fucking pair. Why? I, like they look fine. Are, they look fine. That, I get them polished. They're literally melting into your feet. But I get them polished, so they look. Do you? Aesthetically, yeah. Bro, I gotta be honest. You don't like you sit there in the chair and someone does that to you. No, no, I, I bring them to a place, oh, and okay, I okay. get them. No, there's one in Penn Station. Everyone's like, they do a great job. I'm like, dude, it seems like such a like the shoe shiner. 1890. Thing? Like, come here, boy. And Bro, like, like I can't, yeah. I can't muster myself to ever, ever, ever. I'd be so fucking uncomfortable sitting there when someone's cleaning my shoes. Yeah. But, I I mean, they do a good job, supposedly, and, like, that's their job, I, so I, I know, guess. I know. I just, like... It's kind of like when you... People cut your hair, do your nails. Dude, I, no? the shoes feel demeaning to that yeah. person. Like, cutting the hair is different, I, I feel like, because they're, they're, they're level with you. They're You're, like, looking down on that person. I know it's their job, and it's I feel probably like I a bad way I to look at it. I feel like I wouldn't look down. I would just, like, look straight. For, uh, for me, it's like... I don't know. It's like if someone's giving you, I, I I guess like girls get their fucking pedicures and shit like done. Before COVID, I would get a foot massage every single month. Same thing. I they're, guess. I'm like, they're not massaging anything else but my feet. Yeah. My feet. Do I need to get over this fear? Do I need Maybe. To I don't think I have, sh- I own, actually I can wear those brown ones. I feel like those brown ones have been there since 2010. I've worn I feel those. like you bring those everywhere. I've worn those like four you times move. in my life. The last time I wore them was to your sister's wedding. Hmm. Um... Yeah, November 2019. I, yeah, it's great. It's great fucking the, the shoe, great mark, shoe market. Great shoe market was booming. Boom in 2019, no, November. Shit. All right. Well, we had some fun last weekend. We did. I was. Do you think we're washed? No. No? I, I Do you think, think that was just like wrong? Not wrong. I had a fun time, so let me just start with that. But then I was like, are we washed? Because we all just melted in the couch and just fucking... That was a bad move by us. It was. Well, okay. Here's what, Here's the problem. Like, we went to Central Park... And Central Boom Park in. was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Central Park was fucking, packed. It was live. And if they had Cheap's Meadow open, I think we would have had a much better day there, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I think, like, the area we were in, like, the, the energy was a little weird because we were all, like, kind of stuffed into, like, fucking every, like, every, like 20 people into two blankets. And every shit. big man's knees were hurting. Yeah. A lot, lot of big man problems that yeah. day. After Central Park, the problem is with things still being closed, like, you, there's no, like, bars to go out to, you know? It's, it's For that still, big group. It's still in the area. It's still in the region where, like, you have to get reservations and sit down at a restaurant. Yeah, we were like, let's go back to the apartment. This is like the place to hang out down here. And then, I mean, once you come to this couch, no getting out. I fell asleep like six times. It's like quicksand. Like More literally, deadly than quicksand. I was like. Kids should have nightmares about this fucking couch. No, dreams. Because it's very comfy. No, I'm saying like quicksand. You know, when you're younger, you're like, oh my God, quicksand. It's going to be a very big part of my life. <laughs> yeah, I love that tweet. Yeah, like, was, you, that, was that from? Was that, it was a tweet. Definitely it was, a tweet. It tweet. I, thought it was, I thought it was from a stand-up routine. I was like, you know, uh, when I was younger, I really thought quicksand was going to be a much bigger part of my they life. They, like, literally taught you how, like, you need to relax. Yeah, just, like, don't fight it. And Maybe that was a metaphor for more things in life. And, like, nah. teachers are smart as hell, and we didn't even know it. We but, know teachers now, and we know they're not smart as hell. Yeah, you're right. Teachers are dumb as fuck. <laughs> Doing lines. That's why y'all don't get fucking paid. Oh, I agree. But No, nah, they mm. Mm. I feel Dude. like they work a lot. You know what it is? Like, that's a job where you... You take your home, your your work home with you. You love your job. You need to love your job to be a teacher. Yeah. You can't just do it because, like, you're not doing it because you want to get paid. Like, you do it because yeah. you want to teach. I mean, you work all day, and then you have to grade your shit when you come home. And, like, even doing, like, lessons pl- lesson plans and shit. Like, when do, when, when do you have a fucking second to yourself? I feel like never. I feel like teaching is literally, like, it's 15, 16-hour day job. Am I overstating that, you think? 
No, I don't think so. I think that's fucked up. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck the teachers. <laughs> you guys deserve to get paid. The Never worst mind. union in the world. <laughs> I, honestly, they do have the worst union. I in the heard world. that on a podcast. But it, just like, like it makes it. sense. They're all still fucking poor. Like, I don't want to disrespect anybody. That sounded like I was like happy about it. But like, better agree, unions. Or, agree or disagree? YouTubers are the new teachers. Disagree. I basically I got a PhD. In what your job? The first word is fantasy. Fantasy health doctor. Okay, that's enough. I'm only technically a doctor, though. I just want, don't want anyone to get any the wrong ideas or take medical advice or financial advice from this podcast. But it's pretty good advice, usually. Big clout. Big clout. Okay, so I saw, like, four or a, tweets this a storm morning. storm of tweets? Yeah, and it's like, if you want to be a part of me or own me. And I was if you like, want to be inside of me. I was, I was, oh, that would have been a good one. Fuck. I was pissed, and then I looked at it. What is it? I'm really fucking excited about Big Clout. I who, think who made it? We don't know. People don't know. But... Okay. okay, let me explain. Let me try to explain it the best I can. Big Cloud is basically the stock market for people. And it's believable now because crypto and NFTs are becoming more of a, definitely not mainstream yet, but they have enough use cases where we know they're going to be a part of our future. And we, you know, I think anyone's always had like this idea in the back of their head, like, oh, it'd be cool to invest in our favorite athletes or our favorite whatever. And up until this point, you've only been able to really invest into companies. Yeah. If you believe, like I believe that, creators and individual people are the new businesses there was eventually going to be a stock market for people right and big cloud like slavery how what do you mean you're buying people you're you're buying into <laughs> their coin you're buying their coin basically what happens so anyone can go on big cloud and make a username anyone can do it and anyone can sell their coin or have people buy into their coin so you go on and look it's basically the first like social media crypto space in a sense it's set up very much like twitter like if you go to your profile it feels very much like twitter you have a timeline and everything and you go on you create a username and then you have a coin and what happens is you have to buy this coin people can buy it like you can go on right now and buy some of my coin you have to buy bit clout first though or bit yeah bit clout coin or some shit like that which you get through Bitcoin. So you have Bitcoin, you convert it to BitCloud, and then you could buy my my coin. And every time someone buys my coin, it becomes more valuable. So like you can buy your own coin as well. So if you're investing into yourself, you're investing into like your coin being worth a lot more down the line. Right, right now, like Elon Musk's coin is worth like $100,000 per coin, right? In the same way that like Bitcoin right now is like 60K per coin. Yeah. And, and he's already on it. Like he so approved that's, it. He's not on it. So what they did, which is weird, but also genius, they automatically set up accounts for the first, the top 15,000 Twitter accounts, the ones with the most followers. I they, saw that because they said like Barstool wasn't verified. And I saw that and I was like, how does this make sense? And how can people buy in yet? So they set up accounts for the top 15,000, the most cloudiest motherfuckers on Twitter, right? Mm -hmm. Set them up. Those people have not claimed the accounts yet. Some of them have. Some of them have heard the hype of BitCloud and went on. What happens was they set up the account. So say like, Prez, El Prez is on there, one of the top 15,000 accounts. He's not actually on BitCloud yet, but the account's there. People can buy his coin. Yeah. Okay? So I invest $500 into his coin. At the beginning, that probably got me like 10 coins. But as people invest, the coins become more valuable, right? So it's more expensive. It's not as easy to buy the coin. It's, it, it's, it's more expensive. And the cool part about it is this is the whole wave of the NFT part. As a creator, you can take a cut of that. So... If you want to invest a thousand dollars into me, I set you when you sign up your for your account, you set a percentage that you take the a royalty of. So you put a thousand bucks in, I could if I set it at ten percent, which is their normalized fee when you sign up, I'm gonna get ten percent of that. You get your ninety percent, the creator gets ten percent of that. If Each, you sell. No, like I get ten percent into my account. Oh, okay. Okay. Every time someone buys Prez's coin, he's getting ten percent of it. He's not on the platform yet. That incentivizes him to get on the platform because, to claim that money. Mm. And what they do for you to verify your account, all you got to do is sign up on there and tweet out the link to your account. So it gets you onto the platform and it also takes your big ass following and gets a tweet out to them saying, yo, this is BitClout. I'm on here. Come follow me. Come buy me. It's like a genius fucking effect. Yeah. Now, you can't, you can't withdraw money yet. It's like Top Shot where they were not allowing a lot of people to withdraw for a long time. I don't know. What I'd imagine is it would kill any market. Like I think... I think any market that starts with some like get rich quick scheme and allows withdrawals will kill the value of the entire market. Yeah. Also, it doesn't make sense to me. And maybe I'm like stupid and not financially literate enough to understand how this would even work. If you go on, right? Like if I go on to my coin and buy like $250 worth of it, which I did immediately for your own self, my own, okay. that goes, the value of my coin is now worth like that 250 is now worth like 450. So of course 
they can't let you withdraw that because you can't just go in, put two fifty in, and all of a sudden withdraw four fifty. Yeah, like, that's it wouldn't ridiculous. make sense from yeah, a business yeah, 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 yeah. Which begs the question: Where does this money come from? In a sense, right? Like you are putting you're putting Bitcoin into it, so it makes sense that the Big Cloud you get the Big Cloud coin back. But where are you set? Like when you sell the coin, like where is that? What it like? Where is the coin going? That's what like that's the freaky part about all this. I feel like there's so many anonymous people that like so 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 the crazy part is so what if bitcoin just i know it's not like at this point i don't know if it's ever gonna drop like it did before but what if it drops then does your coin base drop bitcoin is not you're not using bitcoin on the site oh just you're buying big clout coin through like through bitcoin so you gotta you gotta purchase bitcoin once you got like you say i got one fucking bitcoin I'm going to purchase BitClout coin and then you could buy people's tokens and shit. Mm-hmm. So it's not necessarily if Bitcoin goes down, like obviously the value I'm sure somehow inflates over to Big BitClout yeah. coin or whatever. But the the crazy part about it is when you look at the investors, Shamat, fucking the Winklevoss twins, like oh, big God. motherfuckers yeah. are invested heavily into this. I think, and it would be I would almost irresponsible, I think, for most investment places not to invest into it. I legitimately think like the company or the or the platform that monetizes creators in an nft way i think financially has as much upside as anything in human history like i think this this like could break all financial fucking systems like just just think about it again if these i are, know if but these like are the, you have to you this have, is the stock market without restrictions and it's people and they're the new businesses like this is no real. i get that but like say okay the fifth out of fifteen thousand, only seven thousand claim there i know you say like it's a they should claim because they're getting money out of it. Mm-hmm. But say only 7,000 claim and then the other 7,000 don't, like... You have a million others like me. I'm not part of that 15,000. Everyone who comes No, on. I know, but say you bought part of the other 7,000 people and they never claim it, like... Well, th- listen, you 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 invest into... It's not like their coin goes away. It's not like their coin... But their coin should go away because then someone's monetizing the, off the, of them without them going on if they don't want to. The value of their coin goes down. You're not monetizing on them. You're val- you're monetizing on this this fucking No, I'm saying if people keep say like El Prez, they keep buying him cuz they think he's going to be big. Yeah. And say he never gets on the platform. So his coin's huge. Yeah. He's not monetizing on it. Everyone else is, I guess. But then how can that be legal if you monetize someone that's not even for you getting money off of them? Yeah, I'm not, I feel like that's super illegal. I'm not really sure. Isn't it? They were talking about it all I've done today was listen to podcasts and watch YouTube videos yeah. on Big Cloud. And one of That's them, the only part I'm like very They were all positive. About. It was all people talking about how cool this thing is. And then there was one that was about like crypto security. It was a guy yeah. who was like, a, he was like, this has all the red flags of like everything that has red flags in the crypto yeah. space. And he was like, yeah, like using their names for like whatever space. That Yeah, there, there's a, definitely a few concerns. Just the idea of it. I think the idea is makes perfect sense. In a, and the once backing, this is the backing, the backing of these people that are such major players. And they all keep saying the same thing. They're all like, we don't know exactly who it is, but we keep hearing from secondary sources who we th- who we think it is yeah and like no one's really confirmed it yet but they think they know who it is someone who's like big in the startup world and like here's the thing if you're going to invest into it like i put a thousand bucks into it okay yeah I mean, this thing hits that's six figures without a doubt like not even not even close to argument if it doesn't hit i lose a thousand dollars that's what i'm looking at like you put in what you're not afraid to lose if it hits this the ceiling of this is is all time like this? I it's addicting as fuck. Me no, and, I can see it. Me and Scott were on it for like five straight hours today. It was like all we talked about. No, I that. mean, no, con- like you said, the concept is awesome. It's crazy. It's about like the crypto punk. Like it makes sense, but like uh, uh, there's already like twenty five hundred dollars worth of my coin bought. It's fucking sick. Jeez. Yeah, I just don't have money right now. Can I'm just, you like invest for me? Can I have? Can you share some this, of your money? This is the way that you invest in the in the people. As long as the platform is legit, which is. Which, to be which is what everybody's like waiting on, on the ball to fucking drop. We don't know who's behind it. We don't know what the what the deal is because you're sending your you're sending your Bitcoin into a into like this wallet into this like random wallet. You know, you just do it and then it gives you and then it allows you to buy Bitcloud with. I it. feel like this just has all people haven't seen it yet, but a lot of these NFTs that are coming out that like are the first and a like forefront maybe won't survive, but also can be just like a huge like Ponzi scheme in the new world. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be tons of those. There's going to yeah. be tons of it. And there's so many different random projects coming out of the NFT world. Where they're making the handbook right now while they're doing it. Yeah. hundred percent. And it and won't be written for the next, it's going to take 20 years for people to really understand what, what's going on here. There's a lot of individual artists and creators that the, the, I guess the point I'm trying to get across is there's going to be creators who sell their work and people who support them, but there's going to be the, in the same way that like when social media hits, like if you were in on MySpace or Facebook or Instagram, like you were set forever. 
And when you see a platform like this come around and it has the upside of being that forever thing, it's like worth investing a little bit into. You know? No, I, no, I get this it. This is a very I mean, cool project. I just think there's a, now in this world, now there's so many people that are trying to, not, they're not doing a nine to five anymore. They're just trying to yeah. create their own luck and the ratios are off now. And I think that like, you're not going to get rich off finding the one Amazon. Like everyone thought two months ago, like what, Clubhouse was going to be the next thing. And I'm not saying it died off a little bit, but like you don't really hear anything anymore about that. You know, like every single month it's something new. And There's you just, never been as many get rich quick schemes. I've ever seen as every week you're, you're telling me something else. And I'm just like, I don't have enough money for this. Like I'm, I have to like do a wedding and other things. And I just like, yeah, you forget that you have real life. Like I want to jump in, but like, I'm just like, I, I can't Here's keep the explaining to Heather yeah, yeah, this is gonna work. Uh, this this two thousand is gonna be a, a million, and I can buy you what you want. This is <laughs> the thousand dollars I put in three hours ago is up to like twenty seven hundred dollars in value, and yeah. it'll probably get up to like twenty thousand dollars by next week. Yeah, the problem is like, like there's you can't take it out, and you don't. Even I know can't what. take it out, so it, it's like everyone's playing musical chairs, and you're hoping that you get to sit down when the withdrawals happen. Oh, if it comes gosh. out too late, where it's like the money's not real. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen, but this see, it's just like this is a this is not one of those things where it f for me it doesn't feel like a get rich quick scheme because this it's like really fun. It's like super. No, fun. I get how it's fun, but say okay, you get this. Uh, what is it called? Bit uh, clout. Bit clout. And until you withdraw, then Respect the bit me. clout turns into Bitcoin, and then you're gonna change the Bitcoin to money. Like if they if they if they let you turn into Bit, I mean Bitcoin's up to sixty k. So but you're gonna have like what else can you use if um, Bitcoin was to buy Bit clout? Like what you said, Bitcoin was to buy the BitCloud coin. Correct. So if you withdraw, all I'm seeing is you have to turn that BitCloud into Bitcoin. Right. So say you withdraw and then the Bitcoin goes down, doesn't it like affect the value of what you paid out? Yeah, but like Bitcoin, I think there's a lot. There's a lot of things. No, like no, no. Your Bitcoin, like at, we're at a point where Bitcoin is not Bitcoin's not that volatile. It's not as volatile as people think. No, no, I know it's not. That, like I'm not saying that, but like I don't know, because then you got to take the Bitcoin to turn it into cash if you want it, or you're just gonna keep it in Bitcoin yeah, I mean, and you, transfer you could it. If they allow you to withdraw, you could put it right onto Coinbase, and then Coinbase, you're good to do. Like your okay, that's like, okay, that makes feel, sense. Yeah, 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 I forgot I mean, about it came that. In from, yeah, it, it's fine. Yeah. It, it's just a matter of whether or not this thing is like has legs and it's real. Because I mean, at the end of the, the last day, three months, the amount of apps I've downloaded because of you that I don't use <laughs> and I'm so confused and. <laughs> Been a good, it's, been a, it's been a good time. Has it? <laughs> I think these are like probably making me more depressed. Yeah, because this bullshit. keeps happening, and I believe you, and then I read a couple articles, and then I try to lie. To, I, I sound like a crazy professor with a whiteboard. I'm like, this is it. <laughs> like, this is well, what listen, we're doing. It Aliens. All it, it, Aliens. <laughs> Alien <laughs> yeah. fucking crypto. This is what we're going to fucking if get If they rich. come to the planet, <laughs> yeah. we'll be rich. We're so good. And she's just like eating an oreo like oh yeah okay you, yeah you keep doing boy things and i'm just like <laughs> well all these conspiracies start on twitter and like yeah. i live on twitter like 24 7 so it's scary world. Over i feel you. like she's just hoarding her money because she knows i'm just spending mine because she's just gonna leave me and I'm this telling you, big cloud big yeah. cloud my username is Nick Nick I'm, not, Nick on <laughs> I'm not gonna have a lot of cash but you want something in a in a coin or a base god or a clout meme you're gonna make a big cloud Big clout slash like, trap god. I think I don't even have 200 followers. It could be 200 million dollars. You see, like that, like you say that, and then I'm all in. I'm gonna get it. I'm <laughs> fucking in, baby. <sighs> Next subject. All right. I, I don't want to do this anymore because I love big. I, I don't want to be in yet. All right. Just get, but any anything. Here's you, what we'll do. We'll do, you make, we'll do a weekly counter. I started this week at a thousand dollars. Each week, I will tell you the value of the big cloud, the thousand dollar big cloud I put in. <sighs> Well, I'll be, I'll be like, uh, it, next week will be 12,000. Like, Steve, are you in yet? No. Ne the week after that, 34,000. Steve, are you in yet? We got that $300 million. Can I, can I get a loan? Can you just like. I'm not liquid. My, no, it's fine. Uh, it's all investment. <laughs> That's the exact same. What if everything you do, I just get an easy 5% share of everything? Why? Because we're just best friends and you just need to take care of me and that. That's. How it goes. <laughs> I mean, you're my best friend. Let me get 5% of. That's fine. Yeah. Let Anything. Get one of Heather's titties. No, 5% of it. I get 5% of of a one titty, which is 5% of her? No, you get 5% of one titty. That's literally what I just said. No. Because you... I, I think, don't... I just, no, I just no, don't I think you're saying... Next subject. Let's look at the show sheet. So how... <laughs> so can we start saying names, or are we just keeping it quiet about these contracts? I haven't signed anything yet. So we'll just keep it quiet? Well, we so, I, uh, well, last week we talked about how you had one ready to go. It was about you're just waiting to get the ink, and you're about to sign. Came in today, it's right here, and then and that, two days later, and then we got a fucking competitor in the space who's trying to keep big dogs. Can't say that. 
are you talking about? I can say whatever I want. This ain't Big Cloud. I'm gonna put a Big Dog's Big Cloud account too. I can do that. I could have multiple accounts actually. Ugh! Like, would you rather invest in BGE or me? Definitely me, I guess. Right. Snacks, because one day he's gonna kill somebody, and then his cloud's gonna go up. See, that's the that's the tricky part about it. Is like everyone's like people are explaining it like if someone says like a slur word on television, his thing's gonna go down. I'm like, I don't think I think this Aaron, is the market where everything goes. Aaron up. Hernandez's coin would I go would buy the fuck out of his coin. Would go crazy. I'm about to sell mine to buy his. I wonder if his username is open. All right, we'll look at that later. Okay, we had a competitor come in. <laughs> Here's the thing with with yeah. with company one, long term deal, not not gonna have a lot of cash on hand. Company two swooped in. and not late- all, It's not a year deal? It's a year deal. Well, the second one. Yeah. Okay. And it's a big cash deal. Yeah. It's pretty hefty. Really wanted to go red. Yeah. I think we still are. I, <laughs> I, I don't think, I, I just, I don't think. Any I, amount of money you get is just going to be red no matter what. No, I don't think I'm going to take the second deal. It's a lot of money, and they're and he's literally just like negotiate with me. He's like, I want to keep you. He's like, my, I just got a huge fucking raise on my budget. Like, we can make something work here. I feel like you should do your dream contract, and if it works, you should take it, no? Like, he said throw something out. And if that's what would t- take you to go, shouldn't you try? I don't know if it's about the money, though. No, that's I know it's thing. not about the money, but make a dream contract. But that's what it is, though. Uh, you're saying, like, take the pieces of what makes the other contract good or whatever. I yeah. Like and, yeah, okay. I see what make you're saying. Make a dream contract. And he said uh, if he could do it, then it's a no-brainer because it was that's your perfect contract. That's you fair. made it. That's fair. So... I didn't even think about that all day. The first one, when I said the long term, it's like the equity piece. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, yeah, no, which is like that. something that can't be matched. No, I can't get that with the other contract. Yeah, there's no, there's no chance of that happening. So it's like long term. I don't. The upside of the first one is so good compared to the cash of having a lot of cash this year. It's like, what does that really do? Even though you say it's long term, so say like you take. We're talking about big, big cloud exp- exponentiation. Yeah, I don't really know how the, I don't really know how private company valuations work to be honest. Yeah, but say you. like a private company turns public once, right? Obviously, and then you're in there. What if it's just not as big as you think it's going to be? It's still a gamble. If it goes public, like so it's if it like, goes public, it's then like, we then we hit. It's like that a, means we hit. It's like Avion. Avion, what is it? From Entourage? Yeah, the tequila the, company. Yeah, I don't really remember the business part of that to be honest. I remember. Uh, We've been binging he, Entourage ever since. Oh, uh, did you? After Central well, Park, I remember yeah, Turtle put in three seasons in. Turtle put a hundred thousand, uh, ten thousand in, and then Vince put a hundred thousand in, and then Turtle would have made like ten million, and then Vince made like twenty five million. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Um, yeah, it's basically like if it goes, if it hits public, like because we're we're getting in on the seed and the Series A round. If it hits yeah. public, it's going to be by like the Series C. I, I want to say, mm-hmm. and I could be speaking on my fucking ass right now. I'm not I'm not exactly sure, but if that happens, that means we that, that means the investment paid off. Because if it gets a Series B, if it gets a Series C, that means each time the evaluation is going goes higher and higher company yeah, yeah. until going live, and then bing, bang, boom. Did you ever ask them what they think they want to value it like overall, or you can't even like? Is that a thing people even say? What do you mean? Like end of the day, I want this company to have a valuation of like five hundred million. Like, do people say that, or is it just like I could probably do the math? Oh, what they want it to be valued at? Yeah, yeah. Not, I'm not really sure. I'm I'm sure it like changes along the way. I don't I don't think they. I don't think they decide that. I have no fucking idea. No. Business is hard. Business is really difficult now. Because I'm getting into a zone where I know nothing about what's going on anymore. You know what I mean? Are like, you going to try to educate yourself in this? Or you just surround yourself with people that can protect you? I think the only way to educate yourself with this stuff is by doing it. Like actually being in it. You know? Yeah. Like, what am I going to like read books and shit? No, I'm saying like hire somebody probably that. Probably not a bad idea. <laughs> I don't read a book on this subject. How people like, made, how made the world. that was. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a billion people who have sold businesses before know about valuations. I'm like, yeah. fucking read a book. Wow. No, nah, I think I'd rather honestly learn. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's interesting. But you'll make the right decision. I mean, either way, it's going to be good. It's just if you it's think. A, it's a good problem to have for the first you've time. You've been thinking long term your whole life. So maybe sometimes it's better to think short term or is this a long term way? You never uh, know. I don't know. Um, like the only, the only, see, like if I were to accept the, the cash heavy deal, the mm-hmm. only reason I'd be doing it is like so I can have another good apartment for the year. You know, and be like yeah. comfortable in it, and not in like a, not like oh, I want to have a cool apartment, but like a you know apartment that works for everything. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's not a good that's not a good reason to take that deal. Like mm-hmm. just straight up having cash on hand is not a good reason to take it right now because I think the other deal sets us up better long term, better relationships long term in, yeah. in the industry, like all that kind of shit. You know, again, it seems like it's like a one off thing that would be great for right now, but. A lot of other perks, you know, that they're just like, they're just, they're priceless in a sense, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, Something no, no, no. you can't really put into a contract. 
So okay. and it, it kind of sucks you can't take two deals. Yeah, they're both exclusive. I mean, once you get that big, it's like they don't want you know they want all your fucking time and effort going into what they're doing, which I completely understand, but is what it is. How's the draft guide and the website going? We have worked a shit ton on it the last couple of days. It'll probably be ready for like a soft launch, I think, by tomorrow, the next day, probably the latest. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's still like a lot of the design work that needs to be tightened up and fucking intern Jack. I'm just going to call him intern. He basically just got the internship off that fucking email he sent. Can I still interview him? With the, yeah, I'm, I plan on re-interviewing him. We're going to do an exit interview <laughs> after two. He sent over, he's like, oh, I watched your last while. you yelling. Like, I got some ideas for the site. And he sent over the fucking, that first fucking bar idea was so good. Dude, that was sick. That was awesome. So I have so many good ideas. If I, so basically, I want to turn that into, he's going to color it out, make it look nice and shit. And it's like three taps, and it's got like the season-long guide, the draft guide in the middle. It's got the combo guide. And then it's got two bottles of Patron, designed like Patron, which works so well because it's two Patreon yeah, memberships. Yeah, 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 you know, it's like goat. Yeah, yeah. Goat Patreon, goat whatever. And then the bartender's wearing like a big dog. It's amazing. Thing, That's so it's a great. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to make that. Is that like you could do that? Yeah. So basically, yeah, like you can you can make any design like on Photoshop, send it to a web developer and they could put it into action. Where it gets tricky is actually turning that into response. So re responsive means that like it interacts with you as you're using the website, mm -hmm. like different things move and like different things interact with you. So we want to turn that into something responsive, which is where we're gonna. I'm gonna to need to probably hire someone that knows JavaScript or whatever the fuck they need to learn. And what I want to do is have the bartender move with you. You choose the season long guide. He fucking pulls the lever down. It fills the glass up. He hands it to you, and it's like you're the screen. You'll see your hand come out from the screen, and like you're drinking it. So it's gonna come up your face, and that splash is gonna turn into like the product page. That's so right. Whose face is it gonna be? The bartender. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have the bartender's face on it. It might just be cut off at the neck and go uh, right to the header. I haven't really thought about that. Can I be the face? Mm, sure. We have to make <laughs> well, you animate it probably. <laughs> <laughs> just, just that. Yeah, like his screaming, screaming face. That would be fun. No, I think that's a great concept. It's right on brand. Yeah. And if it all works out it, on an app, it's. I think it's fun, but it's also like... That's going to be hard to do. So are app. we like apps kind of like on standby? It's on standby, maybe. We'll see how the website... I honestly think the website's like there. Just the homepage, the homepage shit is needs to be done, which might take a little while. And what about draft guide? Is that done or is it started or what? What happened? Draft guide, almost, most of the content is up there. Most of the content is up for the dynasty rookie guide. I feel like you're always so overwhelmed with the draft guide. Is that no longer kind of, or you kind of have no, a? I definitely am. Yeah, you don't show. You you don't show it anymore. At least we're splitting. I split the work pretty well between myself, Noah, and Mike. So I'm not doing sixty eight thousand. Yeah, the season long guide though, I do basically the entire thing. Yeah, by myself. But that has, that doesn't start. That 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 releases like July first. Okay. So up to that point, it's 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 just like it gets tougher each year because you don't want to just roll out the same product. You know, it's it's like it's good information year over year, but it's like you want to innovate and you want to make it like a whole new fucking experience. You have time. to. Yeah, and that that's what gets me stressed. Like being like, and it's already so much work to make the fucking content of the guide, and then to have to build on top of it and be like, oh, it's not just figuring out the best players and like draft this guy and don't draft this guy and shit, which takes a lot of work in itself, but it's also figuring out how you can deliver that in like a, a fun way and relate it to like our lifestyle and relate it to the brand and stuff. And that's what gets me stressed about it. That's what got me stressed about it last year. Cause we like got away from that mm -hmm. in a sense, you know? So that's why this year is going to be a little bit stressful doing it, but it's, it's like once we get it set up correctly this year, then we can worry about like the content next year. Cause everything, the infrastructure is in place to like fuck around and yeah, you it, said you, you didn't feel like it was, BDGE kind of on brand no. last year. It felt like it was it just was, like mechanical, right? Yeah, it felt like did you was, get a lot of reviews kind of like that, or do people give reviews on the draft guide? Do you ask for reviews? Uh, you should send out an email or something. Uh, no, I do. I, if you yeah. look on the homepage, we have a lot of like uh, testimonials. Like I told shit. you, that the homepage confuses me. Yeah, well, the the last one from last year. There's a lot of testimonials and shit on it. Last year was the first time that I, I got a couple back that was just like, not that it wasn't like up to par. It was just like you know, I felt that I was like ah, I didn't deliver enough on this. You know? And you th this year. That you're going to do it? I mean, I'm going to try my best, yeah. I'm, like, very focused on it. So, you know, I've I've also been able to scale back on, like, content that takes a fuckload of energy out of me, which I can put forth onto that. And I'm, like, actually excited to, like, building up the draft guide, whereas last year it felt like, not that I was doing it just to do it, but sometimes it kind of felt that way, you know? Mm. So this time around, yeah, like, I, I have a newfound, like, excitement for what we're doing on the product side of things. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> my fly has been broken all day. Has anyone said anything? Dude, you know what made me feel real good today? 
I sold a sixteen thousand dollar ring with my fly down. Damn. Had to do it. You think you did it because you had your fly down? Yeah. I had to keep getting them to look up. Just be like, Sir, my your, yeah. my eyes are up here. <laughs> I just kept putting like a my my iPad over my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Was it like very noticeable? Dude, like it's awful. Like Jesus it's just Christ. Yeah. Like it just kept you on the floor too? Well, I had a, this client coming in. I had no choice. So I had to get get focused, get like, ready. It was like your flu game. You had your fly game. If my, I had I my that. fly game. I was really nervous. Yeah. I stayed in, the, in like the back the whole day because I didn't have extra pants or anything. You know. Are you usually selling? No. I just had to do it this time. You know, okay. April 1st. Versatility. Got to fucking bring it in. You didn't even set up an April Fool's joke on me. No, I didn't. My, but <laughs> my dad, I don't know. I think you know this. My dad loves April Fool's Day. I didn't know that, but I could totally see Like, that. it is his fucking holiday. And your dad's like low-key a fuckboy. Yeah. <laughs> like, he shouldn't be. He can barely, like, move, but he's like yeah. a fuckboy. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is where I get it from. I, I want to, like, show you the voicemail he, he gave me. What did he send you? I feel like he oh, was dude. probably, like, your mom. Should I play it? Away or, yeah, do it. Hey, Steve, look at Channel 4. The good thing I came home is uh, all the block is uh, evacuated. I think some kind of gas leak or, or something, your mother say, some alarm going on. The good thing I came home. I, I call you back. I'm outside. I'm waiting for the uh, channel four is here. <laughs> you like, just keep saying channels four, four is here. There's a gas leak. <laughs> that was his big April Oh, joke. dude. He got Michelle. He got Michelle bad. Wait, so what did, what did he say? He's like, oh, I just came home from lunch and... uh. There's, there's a gas leak and uh, in your alarms house. are going off all over the block and I'm outside. Channel 4 is here. What a beast. He does this all the time. He, he has, all look, the time? Not even on April Fool's? Well, no. Every April Fool's is <laughs> something. It's like same, same he, gas leak he's joke in every jail. Time? He, he was <laughs> in jail one time. Uh, I think my mom like broke her back one year. Like in the, As <laughs> that, a kid. That was real. <laughs> yeah. As a kid, I would just cry. Like, my mom's dead. Like, literally, like, your, your mom's passed away. And That's he's so just good. dying laughing. He got Michelle somehow. And I was like, like uh, I, did I tell you about my grandpa like, like last month? Yeah. Someone called him. Yeah. Someone fucking called him, told him I was in a drunk driving accident. They That's didn't even get me out of jail for bail. And he went to the bank, got like 19 G's out of the fucking Dude. bank. Should have told him to put that in the big cloud. <laughs> put, don't put it into my bail. Put it in the fucking big cloud. Yeah. But my dad loves fucking April Fool's. It pisses me off every Dude. single year. This is so random, but you know what I was thinking? Mm. Remember like when you first started dating Heather? No. And, uh, I don't remember. You'll remember this. I don't like this. No, no, no. It's, it's funny. You want to know how to know whether a girl likes you or not is when she sends you the help text message. The fucking, <laughs> fucking. The, the help. If your girl goes out, you know, people are always like, oh, if, if, if she ain't drunk texting you, you ain't the one. No, if no. she ain't drunk texting you the word help, <laughs> yeah, just by you ain't itself. the one. She would do that all fucking day. Yeah. Dude, that, if, if, if she's not texting you help. When you're not there. You need help in the relationship. Yeah, that's facts. Yeah. Like, that's when you know you're the one. If you've ever gotten help, she's out at, like, a party or somewhere. She's out wherever. Somewhere without you, and she sends the help, you're good. Like, you're set. <laughs> like, she's, you she's ring thinking that. about Ring you. that right yeah. now. Hit, hit Steve at Tiffany's, ring it. <laughs> we used to go, no, we used to send, every time we got a help text message, we'd send we'd it back to each other. To each other. Yeah. Now she sends help, I just go, no. <laughs> just no. I feel like we did that at the time, too. Yeah, help yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I totally, totally forgot about that. The help. I think I got one the other day. That's why. Or yeah. I, I don't know why I was thinking about it the other day, but it popped up and I was like, yo, I yeah. haven't seen this in a seen long this in a time. while. Yeah. I remember you and me used to go nuts about that. Help. It's like, shut the fuck up. and just need help for chicken nuggies. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Help. I want to leave the party. Fucking walk <laughs> out the door. That's why it's always be like, help. It's like, what do you need help with? Just be a yeah. fucking human. Yeah. Yeah. That shit used to drive us nuts. Uh. It, it's endearing, I guess. You, like in a sense, it, it does make you feel good at ease because she just wants to t text you. Yeah, she wants yeah, like yeah. attention. That's why it's like she wants. Yeah, she wants to text you, and she also it makes you feel like she needs you at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Also, at the same time, you're like shut the fuck up though too. So did you do you get nervous? Like, did you, did you ever get nervous when like uh, like you had a significant other and she was going out? Like, without you at first? Nervous and like a... Like, she's gonna cheat on me or like... I don't know. Just um, having a nervous anxiety? No, not really. Mm. I don't think... I mean, like, maybe. I don't. I feel like it, I haven't gotten that in a long I time. I think I would have been bad if I didn't have you. I think I would have been like a a jealous boyfriend. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not like... I don't know. I, it's very 
subjective to the person, like how the relationship is with you at the time. Like in the same way that you feel with Heather now, it's like, oh, you know, please, like get out, yeah, get yeah, fuck yeah. out of the house or something like that. Like, you know, you know whether or not to be nervous about it. I think I, I don't know. A lot of the stuff in the beginning of a relationship with somebody else, I guess, is worthy of that. But for the most part, I'm not really too jealous of a person again, yeah. um, unless someone gives me a reason to be right. Like. You know, if, if they come home and they have like six new numbers in their phone, it's like Jake, hair of the dog like this. I'm like, yeah, oh, well, that's now, <laughs> now we got, you know, I think you never also like no at more. that point, I mean, I still to this point, like Heather's fucking hot and I'm, I'm not. So I thought like, I would just think, what do you mean? I know you, I know you find me attractive. So handsome. So, you see, but like at that point oh. she would leave and I'm like, I'm done. I'm finished. <laughs> I'm done. Like she's just going to find somebody that doesn't have tight shirts. Yeah, I don't, I guess like if you think of put it, like go in their shoes. It's also like you like them, but they also like you. They're not like yeah. going out to the bar, like not thinking about you while yeah, you're at yeah, home, yeah. you know? But you it's go out to the like, bar with your boys, you're like, you're still thinking about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's funny because like effort, like you, you know, Heather, only if Heather has the best lie ever, she's the nicest person ever. Yeah. Like she loves me so much. But if, imagine she was lying this she whole she time. She loves me. Me. Oh, they said meat. She, bought, uh, meat. she like, loves meat that's why equally. I'm like, I know, and that's why I was like, I'm not sure what you actually said. Yeah. Both would be <laughs> Both more, are accurate. Right. Both would be accurate. Yeah. But it's so funny. Like, if, imagine she was lying this whole time. She was just like a big hoe bag. She's been cheating on you? Just every time I'm at work. And like all your friends knew? That'd be crazy. And my friends were fucking doing it. Not geez. me. I didn't know. You wouldn't do it. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Until I didn't know. I don't know. What do you mean you, don't, you didn't know? I don't know. You don't know now. She's fine. Help, help, help me! Help, help me! <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Do what? I'm gonna do it. Are you doing it with me? Say yes or no. Yeah. If by it you mean investing in the, my big cloud, I'm in. So after vacation, I'm going on vacation, 11 to the uh, 15th, I think, and I'm doing a cleanse, 30 days. A cleanse? Okay, but I what? paid for this cleanse. I'm doing yeah? it. Yeah. You already paid for it. Yeah. Is this like a juice cleanse though? Yeah. Like you're only drinking juice? No, you have dinner. And you could have lunch. I'm doing the breakfast and lunch shakes. You can just do breakfast, but... What are they? Dude, you can't even drink coffee. Okay, no, like I'm out. No, but I'm saying you don't need to do with my cleanse. It's ain't cute or fun. I'm out. You're not doing my cleanse. I'm doing kind of like a gut reset because my gut's all Where the fuck fucked you up. come across this shit? Oh, my cousin. Which cousin? Melissa. Okay. She's like... you like the most stable of your cousins, I feel like. Yeah. And it's a cleanse, and... I'm going to have to shake for pretty much 30 days. I'm going to do it. I need I needed a jump start. Okay. End of the day, I need a jump start. You fucking didn't help me, motivate me. And then I can't have made it motivate you, myself. We're in, the, we're in the fucking quicksand couch. And you yeah. want me to motivate That's you what me? I'm saying. It's not your fault. I'm just saying you couldn't motivate me. I went to Crunch two days. Sorry to interrupt and make you feel worse. But Crunch on fucking 51st Street, legit gym. Really good. Fucking did bench press for the first time in forever. Really weak. Just think about signing up. But like... I can't sign up on a movie. For some reason, I don't know why. You know why? I know why. I lied to the guy about where, not where I live, but I was. I told him I just moved into the area because I got a free trial and I didn't want him to be like, oh, no, if you're not like, uh, I have like PTSD from the one time I went and they didn't let me work out. I, I, I went into 24 hour fitness back home once. I was like, I got a free trial. And he's like, okay, you're thinking about signing up. And I was like, honestly, I'm, I'm not really sure. Like I'm probably moving out of the area soon. He's like, oh, you can't use the free pass then. And I was like, that's, it's, it's ridiculous, you know. Can like I free, change my answer? Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> let's rewind for a second. Now I have PTSD. So I told the guy when I went in, he was like, oh, you know, like, did you just move here? And I was like, yeah, I'm new to the area. Where'd you come from? I was like, uh, Brooklyn. I like told, I just like straight up lied to him. I don't know why yeah. I panicked. And I did that. And now I want to sign up for the crunch, but there's not going to be crunch. I don't think there's a crunch downtown, but it's like expensive as shit to sign up. I would have, to, it's like $99 a month. But I was like, what a crunch? Yeah, I thought it was a ten dollar gym, wasn't it? It's was a big, yeah, like more normally. But this one is for the city. This is a great gym. This is like a really fucking wow. good gym. Yeah, I would have been in for it, but like, I think I missed the deadline to like take the deal that he was going to give me or whatever. Anyways, got a great workout, and I'm sorry, Co. Yeah, thanks for just I know ruining me. It's a great day. Help, can't do it. But yeah, I'm doing. Do, I'm headache. gonna do this cleanse. I'm not. It's literally you're taking everything out of your diet. Essentially, I'm just gonna eat chicken and fucking broccoli, and no coffee. Are you done? I'm listening. Chicken, broccoli. I'm going to slap you. You're doing cleanse, breakfast, lunch, dinner. No, no, no. Go. Sorry, go. Are you, are you done? I'm done with this podcast, yeah. No, go. Go. I don't even know what I was I'm saying. Listening. I'm listening. I'm doing a 30-day cleanse. I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking coffee. We're going to 
lose all my weight. I'm going to be 150 pounds. Okay, so breakfast and lunch is a shake. Yeah. And then there's like probiotics you take and... What does the shakes consist of? How many calories are you going to be in a day? No, it's a, like, a, I think a 2,100. 2,100? Yeah. That'd be good for you. Yeah. That I can co-sign. How the fuck you get 21? The first, are the two shakes, like, big? Yeah, they're big. And then and you could add spinach. You could add things to it. What's, oh, f- 12 calories of spinach? What's dinner? <laughs> uh, Well, they, they have, like, a Facebook group that gives you all, like, these, like. You're going to be, like, making recipes? or? But I was come- like, no, li- no, no. So you have to do your own dinners. So I'm literally just, I'm going to do it hardcore and just eat chicken and fucking veggies for 30 days straight. Okay. Like, I know this isn't sustainable, but I want to do it for 30 days just to fucking reset okay. and then get after it. I'm not going to drink from the April 20th to May 20th. That's a reasonable timeline. I yeah, think. I, I think, think it's a perfect timeline. Yeah. That's fair. You going to do it with me? You don't need to do the same cleanse. I'm I'm probably not going to do the cleanse, no. <laughs> <laughs> One, I, I'm like, I'm not giving up coffee. Two, like... Can you not drink with me? I need a support. Like, I'm not a degenerate, but, like, I'm, I need a support. It's like, the NFL draft is that we oh, Like, I'm it? also moving to a new apartment probably in the Shit. middle of that. I'll try. I was thinking about not drinking for a little while now. So, I, I, I think this has to be done. I'm spiraling with okay. food. Okay. Literally, I had ice cream, and then when I put the ice cream away, I just what? started eating Oreos. So, you, do you think that... I think I have a food problem. Like, actual, like, a disease where... I can't stop eating. Like, I'm a fucking dog. Like a like a eating disorder? Yeah. Like a binge eating disorder? Yeah, like a fat disorder, <laughs> eating disorder. I think I have it. I think... There was times, like, I I can vividly... Like, you saw me put pizza in my pocket for later. Like, I know that was drunk, but, like, I feel like I've done that <laughs> soberly. <laughs> like, I feel like... In your pocket, yeah. I feel like at Garcia Plaza when I worked at Tiffany's when I was, like, actually at rock bottom, I was just shoveling pizza in my mouth knowing I was gluten-free. Like I think I actually had to laugh. No, it's la- fine. The last part was good. <laughs> Knowing think- <laughs> I was free. I think I have a food disorder. I'm fatemic. What does that mean? Like bulimic, but fatemic, fat timic. You know what bulimic is? Yeah, you puke. No, well, it's just it's not. Most people associate it with puking, but it's you eat and then you puke. you eat until you. No, no, no it doesn't. You don't have to be puking. It's something <laughs> that it's something that reciprocates the over. Like you, 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 you binge eat a fuckload of food. Until you like want to puke, and then you could do you could like do whatever excess ex- exercise can be a form of like bulimia. Fucking oh. puking can also be a form. Okay, of so I have whatever it does before bulimia. I eat until it's excess. So it could be a binge eating. Yeah, I think disorder. I have it. I I've been thinking about this. I <laughs> actually think I have it. If if you think that, yeah, I read a fantastic fucking book. It's about like the your brain wiring that's on the subject, and it makes you. It, it's about like the habits that you have. That I'll send to you because it might actually be super helpful. Like Heather says it all the time. Like you don't let your body like digest. Like I'll eat dinner and be like snack time and I'll just start eating snacks. You deserve it. You see, this is not helpful. (laughs) You're not good. Okay. You're not (laughs) not good. You're not good. <laughs> like you're laughing right hurt. in my face. I can see how hurt like you are. Okay. I literally just said I had a disorder, and then you're <laughs> laughing sorry. at me. Well, like this is like the. This first is my podcast too. Th- you're this- not the only one that can fucking cry this and is- have issues, and then mine just get laughed at. Okay, let's. Look. Well, here's the thing. I'm not. You're laughing at me. An eating disorder needs to be talked about with a uh, an expert on the topic. Like this is not. Oh, so I'm an expert when you cry about fucking business. But I'm not crying about business. I'm crying because I'm a little bitch. You're actually crying about like a scientific. Okay, I'm not fact. crying. Something that <laughs> you were the one who just I'm yelled. Water eyed. <laughs> <But, laughs> I'm tearing. I'm tearing. But tell me you're gonna fix this. Okay, like <laughs> on, I can't do this on air. What do you want me to do? I'll help you. Will you? You just said you're not doing anything, and then you laughed in my face. <laughs> okay, but I said I wasn't doing the cleanse. That's not the same as helping I was you. Eat this mic. Did you see that? I was hungry. <laughs> it's an expensive dinner. <laughs> Don't do that. We need that for a lot of different production. Cunt. Oh wow! Yeah. I said I have a disorder. You call me a cunt. You didn't think I could hear that? I said everybody could hear that. I said jump. Like oh jump! jump. Oh jump! Jump Exercise. off a building because Actually, you, said you have it. a disorder. You said it, not me. Yeah, I said it. What are you gonna do about it? I was it? thinking it. You said it. Oh, so you want me to jump? I was. You, you said, I was saying it. You thought about it. <laughs> These are really going downhill. Yeah, they are. <laughs> are they really? You think they're, they're going pretty so, bad? Just this one. I don't know where this went. <sighs> This is my last thing I wanted to talk about. What time is it? Oh my god! What was two it? hours? That so me, no, me and Heather. You know, it's April. People are starting to get like their merit increases and their bonuses and everything. And usually, merit increases suck. They're not a lot usually, or maybe in just my 
Area. Merit increase is like a, a yearly yearly salary yeah. increase. Yeah, usually they suck for like retail. My shit's good as fuck. See, you're just being dick. My bonus was cut in half, which sucked because of COVID, and then it gets taxed forty percent. So I pretty much just got like up like a handshake. Know about that yeah. shit. <laughs> so it was like whatever. But merit increases, I really don't care about because I feel like you already got. In my personal opinion, like this, ha- or I think I made this in my personal opinion, so I don't get mad at them anymore. So I got a job. They gave me a salary that I agreed on because it was good for the job I'm doing. So I don't think a merit increase should be increased because you're doing the same job. So I don't think that's why I don't like look forward to a merit increase. I know they're going to be pretty low and then it is what it is. I think most people expect a sizable raise. That's what you'd call it. Basically a raise. Yeah. Right? Like it's a yearly raise. Yeah. So, so you're saying you went into the job and, Thinking you weren't getting one? No, I... So, in my job, promotions are where you get a fucking fat raise. So, I look forward to promotions. That's what I work for because that's a new job, so I deserve the money. So, when I got this current job, I agreed to the salary because, in my head, I'm like, this is what this job deserves. And so, until I get my other job, this is what I should be getting. And, like, the merit increase is nice yearly, but I... It doesn't, like, sway me like I'm pissed. This is all I think I'm valued or mm-hmm. not. Like, in my head, I told Heather, like, yeah, this is what I get paid, and I now I get an extra couple bucks because of this, you know? So, But I'm still doing the same job, so why would I get a fat raise? I mean, most people just expect a raise yearly, to be honest, yeah. even if they don't do more shit. Or but I don't. guess this is, like, me. This is how I, like, look at them now just because. It's a good mindset to have. Yeah, so you just, can't be fucking disappointed. Exactly, because I used Especially to, Especially like, during this year. Dude, I like, I used to, like, with Matt, when we worked together, we would start like breaking shit, like throwing pencils you everywhere. Get a big raise and shit. Oh, because one year we got like exceeds expectations. Like you did better than, and it like I never got like exceed. I got always like achieve expectation because it's always hard to get exceed. And then they're like, that's that's really good. It's gonna help in your career. And we're all fucking pumped. And I think this is when I wasn't a salary. This is when I was just hourly. Mm. And I think like <laughs> we got like sixty cents raise for exceeds expectations, <laughs> and we were fucking defeated. And I like, Yo, like it was the cent raise. Yeah. It came out to like $1,500, you know, like, bro. And it killed me. It fucking hurt my heart so bad. And I was just like, I couldn't imagine working on an hour, hourly rate anymore. Like, even yeah. if you do the math and your salary turns into an hourly rate, like just knowing you're like, I'm going to sit here for the next hour and make 16 bucks or something. I never calculated mine just so I don't. Think That's like so that. fucking defeating. Yeah. Oh man, that's sad thinking. But how do you that? I think the way I think about it makes it better because I don't, I like nine to five. I mean, I'm not nine to five. I'm like a eleven to seven. But I like think about it like this because a I like my job. B I don't think you should get mad at raises because it's still extra income that you didn't have. Yeah, I mean like like people were pissed about the bonuses. I'm like, dude, we got paid throughout c- Corona. Yeah, like yeah, I we, mean there could be worse things. The yeah, the bonus thing is is very much a mindset thing. I think like. The, the company sets you up for precedent, like, on, on what's going to happen for the next year. If they give you a big-ass bonus, it's like they should either be doing that based on what you actually did the previous year mm-hmm. so that the next year you know whether or not you performed up to par and you know what you're getting. If if one year they're just like, yeah, you know, we're just going to give everybody a $10,000 fucking bonus or raise this year just because you're here, the next year I would go into that fucking position thinking, oh, I'm going to get at least a $10,000 yeah. raise. Be disappointed if they didn't do that. So I think that's on the company a little bit. To How would you do it? Now, let's say you start paying people. What are you going to do? Salaried? I would... I would no, prob- are you going to do hourly, salary? What are you going to do? Salary? Uh, I mean, it's tough. It would depend on... I, I would, in my mind, like, peace of mind-wise, I'd rather have salaried people, you mm-hmm. know, just so it feels like we're, like, really all in this shit together. Yeah. The, the contracting, like, hourly thing, I it, that could work for, like, one-off projects. It's kind of confusing, I guess, being in, like, the internet world because things come from all over the fucking place, right? And we're not together. Uh, I would ideally like to do the salary, and I think when like raises came, I don't know if I would do like a bonus. Maybe I would do like Christmas bonuses and shit like that. I think I would do. I think I would do a raise each year, depending on like what the last year was performance wise. Maybe I don't know. I don't this really is think. hard to think when if you haven't done it or yeah. be in the shoes to do it, because like in your heart you probably want to give them big raises, but then you're like, yeah, you know what? I actually I think I lied. I think I would probably get to the end of the year, see how much we made, and be like, oh, if I have a lot of extra money. To like pay. pull it out. I would just like be like, here's twelve. So pay. I think bonuses are better than raises. Maybe. Yeah, but but bonuses sets the same kind of precedent as the races though too. If I like, gave you a fat fucking bonus last year, you're probably expecting the same thing this year. I think it's all I guess how people's brains work. Races almost like feels you, like a more personal thing. Bonus feels like a company thing for me. That's the way I would look at it. Like if we did really good as a company, I'm gonna give you a bonus. 
if you did really good as an employee, I'll give you a raise. I feel like raises should stop being yearly. They should just be when you when deserve, you deserve it. it. Right? Yeah, that's probably true. I kind of think about like when JC Penney's was still around. I don't know if they're still around. The guy from Apple like came and like their CEO and he was like, oh, we're not going to say anything's discounted. We're just going to say this is the price. And everything went down because people love seeing a discount. So I feel like that's like with raises. I have no idea what the correlation of those two were. <laughs> I was trying to figure it out. My, I don't know why I said any of tired, that. So I was yeah. like trying to do the math and what you were saying. And I was like, I don't have I don't anything. know. I'm, I'm just pissed for tomorrow. I, I'm pissed fucking animal tank broke up. Why? I have to help her move tomorrow. Mm. Where's she moving to? A block away from her spot now. Are you laughing like you didn't just do that? Yeah. But <laughs> you literally did the same. It was a bigger way. spot. It was or it is? No, mine. Mm. That that was like, and I was living under a restaurant. Whatever. I would, I'm going to go eat. <laughs> you see Stop fucking laughing <laughs> Sorry this shit was funny Oh wow Cause oh. you knew it, You did that to be funny Don't act like you didn't I'm, It's a cry for help <laughs> It's a cry to eat It's a cry <laughs> It's a cry to Hold on No no Why are you yelling You can't put that in oh, there Oh yeah Stop Why are you yelling I'm editing this out So what were you gonna ask This is Heather What were you gonna ask Tell her to stop recording shit on mine Okay did you have the eating thing on <laughs> <laughs> on your notes, or did that just come up out of nowhere? I think it came I, up out of don't nowhere. Don't lie to me. No, I put, I'm going to go on the cleanse. Okay. I didn't say, <laughs> I have a fucking problem. Do you actually think you do? I think, I, I, I think I've always, I've said it. Do you just eat a lot? Like, do you overeat, or do you... I overeat. Or are you like, at the end, you're like, oh my, that, that was like an inhumane amount of food I just took in, and you do that all the time? All the time. Really? Yeah. Okay, maybe that's... I can eat like nine bags of chips... Like in a row, and I know it's a, like I should stop, and I'm just like, you just can't. Yeah, like Heather <laughs> takes it away from me. That's fair. I have a problem, I, and you yeah. just keep laughing in my fucking face. I don't have a quick solution for you right now, and the cleanse ain't gonna do it. Cut these hands. What's up. gonna happen five days into the cleanse when you get a craving? No, when me? I do like a diet, I'll do it. Mm. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll fucking, I'll I'll fucking do, do it. that. <laughs> You ain't doing shit. <laughs> I paid two hundred thirty dollars for nothing for the thirty days. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I know that's why I, I feel did like it. that was gonna be like four two days. Yeah, the, I, my the, my price, my mind of like pricing things now in New York yeah, is just you, you spent a thousand dollars on fucking coins, digital fucking coins. You know how much you're gonna be? You know how much my big cloud? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't fucking cloud dot com yeah. slash Nick or Colano invest. Invest or all your kids' to college tuition. Uber eats me things. <laughs> Shut the fuck so up. So tired. Um, okay, I think we're done. <laughs> we have anything else? No. Let me check. Oh, see, my notes don't sync. I had notes for this episode. And I'm out. You got lucky. I had more notes about you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> A lot of eating. <laughs> A lot of fucking eating. <laughs> A lot of eating notes. Why are you yelling? <laughs> I forgot you could hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't like this energy from you. What you mean? Just fucking go. Dude, not today. I'm fucking trying. I'm trying my worst. It's Sunday. <laughs> Is the volume <laughs> Why was that so loud? I feel I like know. I didn't yell that loud. It's been so loud. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I think mine's up higher than yours. Yeah, yeah. it was. Oh, okay. You're just being a bitch. There you go. <clears throat> Much better. No one have a headache. You got a headache within two minutes of us recording. We've been on for three minutes and 13 seconds. Okay, fine.